Stacy Farber, and this is My Life Unscripted. Hello, I'm Stacy Farber, and as you can see, I'm wearing my school uniform, which means I am walking home from school right now. Come on in. Welcome to my house. Oh, hey there. Yeah. Uh, this is the living room. Da -da -da -da. You'll see lots of my artwork all over the house. Got some family photos. This is the kitchen. This is one of my favorite, favorite pictures. This is in Chicago, and the girl here is wearing a shirt that she made with my face on it, which I think is pretty cool. So if you're that girl, I'm sure you're watching. Hey, what's up? I painted this with watercolors, and this is pastels. And I painted this as well. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I didn't do that one. <laughs> this huge one here was painted by my sister and I in 1992. But what I like about this painting is the fact that I wrote my name with half caps letters and half lowercase. Yeah, it was a real smart one. But I like it. And this, da da da, -da is my room. This is a painting that I did last year. It does not match my room, but it had nowhere else to go. So uh, it's a trumpet all distorted, and I put um, beads in the different squares to make it more exciting. Very girly. This is very important to me because it's a lot of my artwork. You've seen a lot of paintings, but this is more drawings and things. So, ooh, 100% on a test. Let's film that one up close. Music is very important to me, but everyone always asks me what my favorite, who my favorite artist is, what my favorite band is, and I can never come up with an answer because I like so many different types of music. We have Britney Spears, Christina Aguilera, Hilary Duff, Beyonce. Turn the page and we have John Mayer, The Beatles, Maroon 5, Jack Johnson. Oh, and then there's Usher and the Bad Boys 2 soundtrack. And the list goes on. The first thing that I like to do when I come home from school is change out of this uniform. Ew. I've got jackets and some skirts for the summer. I love accessories. My favorite items on here would have to be this belt. I think it's cool. I don't wear half the stuff that's in here because I've had it since I was like 10. My mom makes me hold on to everything in case you want to wear it one day. No. I got my belly button pierced in Hawaii and I have these dangly ones and flowers and other exciting things. I haven't really worn any of these. Maybe in the summer. This one's a little more me. I first met Stacy when I was five. Hi. Stacy was so much fun in senior kindergarten. Um, she <laughs> Not anymore. <laughs> no, she in still. senior kindergarten. Uh, my favorite thing about Stacy is definitely our hair. <laughs> So not my personality <laughs> no, or anything. Definitely not. Just like that. <laughs> oh my god. Cut. Dinner tonight is chicken, beef, stir fry with um, an assortment of fresh vegetables because I think vegetables are really healthy for everybody. When Stacy was young, she didn't like to get up in front of people at all. Until I was eight, I was terrified of cameras. Not yet. Oh, oh God, not yet. One of the first things I remember doing was a school play where we did Snow White. And I was a tree. And I was just amazing, if I do say so myself. We have quite a story to tell, to tell. This is the man in my life. This is my dad. You love that I say that, don't you? She doesn't call me the man in her life very often. <laughs> she was in grade three. And she told me she wanted to apply for this art school. I remember halfway through the audition process, one of my friends quit. She didn't go back anymore. And I said, I want to quit. I don't want to do this anymore. I'm sick of it. And I remember saying to her, Stace, you start something, you're going to finish it. And I got in. And it was great. I loved it. 
sad me, Mom. Where we are, she was performing. I don't think you put glasses on the table. Yeah. We were on a ski trip once, and she pretended she was from London for five days with an instructor that was from London. For five days, I spoke like this, and he actually believed that I was from England. I had to pretend that this was my niece from London. And pretty soon it just stuck and I was able to do it all the time. Because I didn't want to upset him for five days. He's been thinking that here's a kid from out of town. Are you laughing? Hi. I'm Jamie. Friends for a long time. At sleepover camp we shared a bunk bed. Yes, we did, and then she ditched me for Degrassi. I was 14, I think, and they called me in for Degrassi. She's always very well prepared. She takes it very seriously. And I thought I had the character down, and I thought my look was perfect, you know, sort of edgy. I was wrong. So I got trapped in an elevator with Britney Spears last week, okay? Not the real Britney Spears, but this total Britney clone who lives in my building. And she came out of the room and she said to me, it was one of the worst auditions I've ever done. SCA, CUY. SCA, CUY, Stacey's on the grassy high. Julia Beers. <laughs> when I got the part, I realized how fortunate I was and how this was such an amazing experience that barely any kids ever get. So, I was very lucky. Ellie, right? Uh-huh. Here's the deal. Hazel and I, best friends. But Hazel's stuck on the other side of the room. You, however, are right here. And you want me to switch. I knew you'd understand. She's still pretty cool, dancer. <laughs> pretty cool. <laughs> she doesn't drive, but I drive, so I'm her chauffeur. <laughs> Lucky you. you. Oh, really hot, but phenomenal. Whenever she's on, she's we're watching it. We usually make a, an event that we all sit down and watch the show together. It's 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 fun. Yum. We have a tragedy live from Mary and Live Donald. tragedy. I stand up. Oh my god. Completely. Like no. my entire no. and we are on the set of Degrassi. It's 7 in the morning and I've been up since 6, so early. But uh, now we're going to go get changed and see my dressing room and where I change from pink Stacy to black gothic punk rocker Ellie. It's funny when you see Stacy walk in, that's not the person who walks into set. Um, she goes through an entire transformation. This is Ellie. That's me. She's Stacy and she's this bubbly, vivacious, um, charming girl. First we have the bottom layer, the black tank top, and then she comes out on set and she's Ellie. There's always mesh, always. Suddenly all that warmth is just turned inwards a bit more. And a crazy belt and an even crazier skirt. All black, obviously. You never catch Ellie dead wearing pink like me. Stacy joined the cast in second season. We always knew we'd have to really work with wardrobe and makeup to create our Ellie. And the other thing about Ellie as a character is that she doesn't always say a lot with words. You ha she needed to be very emotive. And then I saw her today at school. She would jut her chin out and it was a very defiant posture, which said more than even anything that happened in the monologue. So she just projected this, don't mess with me but I'm also incredibly vulnerable at the same time sort of quality, which is what Ellie was all about. Okay, now I am Ellie. Partially, we still have to go to makeup, so let's go. Hi. Hello. 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 <laughs> there have been a lot of changes since I started on season two. Um, Obviously, like, the hair has changed, like, dramatically. Um, in the beginning, it was really wild and crazy, and now I just got it cut, but it's a little more 
normal. Whenever I get blush and bronzer, she makes me dance for it. Oh, so. I make you do. Oh, oh, you don't lie. You make me dance. So I'm just gonna I go like this every morning, and then she puts it on. And the better I dance, the more I get. It's brilliant. It's brilliant. What I think is amazing about Stacy is she's absolutely the opposite of her character. She's this bright, pretty girl, and in character, she's like this this punk girl that she would never normally be. She gets all souped up in her clothes and her you know makeup and everything. She's really badass. I mean, she's really cool. Ellie Nash is not Stacy Farber. You can't tell that. Only I can because I see the transformation every day. When I first started, I wasn't into the whole mesh fishnet thing, but after three years of playing Ellie, it's grown on me and I'm actually comfortable wearing it. So. That's good, thanks. Hey, guys. <laughs> ah. Okay, we're going to change the blocking from what we practice. Let's do this. We're starting on fall. Well, that's right. <laughs> she's so much fun to work with on set because she's just lively and perky and friendly and she makes everybody feel at ease. Other actors, she comes on, she's, you know, totally nice and very, very sweet person. She's a colossal jerk. Maybe the blood people were right. What is your problem? I really love the episodes in second season where Ellie and Marco were best friends and Ellie had the whole crush on Marco and then he came out to her. Um, you're my best friend. But if that's not enough... It's really hard. The cool thing about working with Stacy is that, you know, I got comfortable with her so fast since we both started at the same time. She's so friendly. I felt completely comfortable in front of her doing the scene. And it's just, you can see it on, on, on the scene. I think it was one of the most honest scenes between our characters. Ellie. I'm gay. And you and me. We'll always just be friends. Now she's your friend anyway, right? You guys are friends? I believe, usually. Yeah, we are friends. Yeah. Yes. For you? I love working with Adamo. Adamo is really funny. Working with Stacey is always fun because she's a joker. She just makes you laugh. And she's always laughing. She has this, like, this contagious, jiggly laugh that makes everybody laugh, so it's really fun. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we're gossiping. Yes, we're Not gossiping too. Actually, we're so we're just waiting for them to move the camera and so we can do the shot from a different angle. Before we were filming Marco, and now we're gonna film Craig. Stacy and I went to school together. From grade four to grade eight. Promise, Scooty, it's a guy thing. In grade eight, we were elected by the student body to be the valedictorians for our graduating class. Oh, our speech was like, "Welcome to the grade eight graduation." She was like, "I'm Stacy," and I was like, "I'm Jake." Didn't I hear that you clocked Amy for being equally trampy? I don't even know what we said, but if I read it today, I'd probably be really embarrassed. Oh, and how's Ash, Craig? Or are you back with Manny? You know, I knew her in grade four. We never would have thought any of this would have happened to us, so it's, it's cool. It puts things in perspective. Let's just call it a people thing. Okay. Let's call it a choice. <sighs> I am so excited because I have my own camera to take on set with me today. Welcome to the Stacy Cam. This is Degrassi Community School. And as you can see, it looks like it normally does on the show. Minus that. Extras holding. Yeah, you don't normally see that when we're filming. Stacy is really funny. She's a very witty person. These are sandbags used to hold down various um, pieces of equipment on set. In the writing department, we're always looking for jokes, and Stacy's one of those people who can drop by, and she's got them. And when the actors are really bad and don't hit their marks, they also put sandbags in front of us so that we really can't go anywhere else. Or you have to move one. It's a tremendous insult. She has a very, very natural ability to um, make people laugh, 
and at the same time played dramatic roles. And um, she's very talented. That's a little eye peek. Hey, that's about the extent of my camera and all of them. She can do an emotional scene, and you're sitting there behind the behind the monitor watching and you're almost in tears and you go cut and she goes ah, blah 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 and it's just it always drives me crazy when actors do that they suck you in and then they spit you out <laughs> Degrassi's history is tackling as as hard and as dark a topic as exists in the teen world I mean, there are certain stories you can only give to certain actors, um, and that's just playing to their strengths. Before every emotional scene, I try to, like, get away from everyone else, get away from my everyday life, and just really think about what it is that my character is going through at that time. There's a lot going on inside when I'm doing one of those emotional scenes, but um, I try to do it as realistically as possible. One of the last scenes in the cutting episode where we're actually just in that hallway over there, I finally confront her, Paige confronts Ellie about the fact that she knows that she's been cutting and it was really emotional and it was one of the, I think probably one of my favorite scenes I've ever done in all four years. There's nothing wrong with me. Then show me your arm. From Mary and my tragedy for Mary McDonald. We have okay. to go into her. So I was on my way here this morning, and I was wearing my True Religion jeans, which were featured on my episode of Degrassi Unscripted. Very nice. When lo and behold, I stand up. Oh my God. Completely. Like no. my entire no. butt was revealed to the world. Well, you can't wear them now. That was a tragedy live from Mary McDonald. Thank you. No problem. Can I shake my hand? Yeah. Oh, that's nice. I really want to bite your hand right now. That's not healthy. Stacey's really uninhibited and she's not afraid to be herself. And I think that's what everyone loves about her. Ooh. Mm. Coming up next, a sneak peek at never before seen Degrassi episodes. Don't go anywhere. I am in New York City for Fashion Week and it is so exciting. Ryan's community show? Look, when people see Degrassi, I want them to think cute and cuddly. I'm going to clobber you. That's not cuddly. And as a president speaking to his vice... All right, calm down. Everything has to be perfect. She's right. What you've done for the school this year... Ever consider running a second term? Four more years! Four more years! <laughs> I can't. I was thinking of picking up a few extra credits this summer. This way, I can graduate after first semester's done. Maybe even move in with Dylan before university. My boyfriend? All right, you guys know I'm gay. I... Um, I'm stuck on graduating early. I'm on move in with Dylan. Guys, it's not that big a deal. Brandon Holly, and it is so exciting. Are you excited? Are you so excited? My first fashion show. 
front row. Don't look at me now. I'm like, on the runway. I know. It's funny, you wait for about an hour to get in and then it's done. And then you wait to but get back out. It's going to be the best 10 minutes oh, of yes. your life. It'll change your life. and just great sense of humor. I love her. We're going to be starting with what we call our sensory journey. We're going to let you experience a couple of aromas. This way you get to choose the aromas you want to do today. And then you get to choose a magnificent color, which will be on your toes. Cool. <laughs> I hate my own feet and I hate other people's feet. I hate I'm not going to lie. Feet touch no. mine. Have you ever had that? Did someone's foot touch it? <laughs> Yes, my middle toe is bigger than my big toe. She's a freak. No. <laughs> but I was told that it's very common and it's actually a sign of intelligence. So you know what? I'm proud. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Barbara and I might be moving in together next year in an apartment downtown Toronto. So uh, we think they should do a little uh, reality show about... Life at uh, <laughs> Farber and Collins. I don't know. We could just do this. It would be really entertaining for us. Yeah. No one else would like it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that would suck. <laughs> On so many levels. <laughs> In the future, I see myself. I always thought it would be cool to write um, for a magazine, like a fashion magazine, because that would incorporate my love for English and writing and also fashion and all that stuff. But um, right now I have no idea. It could be acting, which I love. Definitely something in the arts. I think having a good education and being surrounded by people who you love and who love you, I think that's the most important thing. 